Well, we've just begun the season of Advent, this time of joyful and hopeful watching for the coming of our Saviour. And as we come out of this second lockdown, it's entirely understandable if we're feeling a bit fed up, a bit down, a bit angry, a bit confused, all kinds of different sentiments that we will have at this time. The most important thing is, though, that we should be really filled with a sense of thanksgiving to God. Why? First of all, because we have life itself. Let's thank God every day for this gift of life, the fact that we're able to greet God in the morning and enjoy the life that we've been given at this time. Secondly, we thank God for our family, our friends, our relationships, all these wonderful ways of interacting with people and those that we love that help us and sustain us through these days. And the third thing, of course, is we thank God for our membership of the Holy Catholic Church, that great family which is united here on earth with our loved ones and our brothers and sisters in the faith, and also that we share with the saints in heaven. Now, as we go forward through this time of Advent, from Wednesday onwards, we can start to come back to public worship so we can come to Holy Mass. The schedule you'll find on the parish website, but you need to book, to book a place for Mass, to book a place for public prayer and private prayer at this time. So please go onto the website, book the times you want to come to Mass during the week or at the weekends, and if you know of someone who needs help booking a place who doesn't have a computer or internet connection, perhaps help them also uh, to do this so that they can come to Mass and be part of the praying, worshipping parish family at this time. So book a place for yourself. Be generous in offering to do the stewarding and helping around the church. And look out for others. Look out for those who are in need at this time. The final thing I'd say to you is remember that the prayer of Advent is the Angelus. We think about the Angelus when we look at the scene of the Annunciation behind the tabernacle in our church here. We pray the Angelus at morning, at noon and in the evening to recall the moment when the greatest news ever was announced to the world, that we will have a, a saviour, that the word will become flesh and dwell amongst us. So pray the Angelus frequently during this time of Advent and recall that greatest of news that God has shared our humanity, that as man he's come in and understood everything of our dysfunctionality, but as God he has come to save us. And as we move now out of this lockdown into this period of Advent, let's support each other, let's continue to pray for each other, be assured of my prayers for you, and God bless you and your families always.